the channel. My name is Nandini and I'm a rising sophomore studying journalism and dramatic literature at New York University. In this video, I'm going to give you five really good fiction book recommendations that you can read for your fourth book summer. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Baby, I tell you all the time. Baby, you make me feel fine. to start reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because this book was literally everywhere. I opened Instagram, I opened Twitter, any social media platform, you saw this book. So I was really scared that this book would not live up to its hype but I'm so 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 glad that I picked up this book because it broke the rooftop of the hype. Like it literally stood up to its expectations and it is one of my best fiction books that I've ever read. This book is literally a work of art. I mean look at this cover firstly the font the color scheme everything about this cover is just so pretty it's one of the prettiest covers i've ever seen and you know people say that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover but this one you can easily judge it by its cover because what's inside is even better than this amazingly beautiful cover the plot of this book revolves around a journalist by the name of monique grant who's called by a retiring hollywood actress by the name of evelyn hugo evelyn calls monique because she wants monique to write her biography sort of as to her glamorous and scandalous life in Hollywood and why she had seven husbands and why it didn't work out and stuff like that and as both of their stories are revealed the audience sees an inevitable connection between the two characters that they first did not see coming at all and when that plot twist drops it's game over it's one of the best plot twists that I just did not see coming and it's just so beautifully carved into the whole narrative of the story. The character development and the style of writing of this book is just fantastic. It's out of the world. Like it was so hard for me to believe that Evelyn Hugo was not a real Hollywood actress. Like I really wanted to just google her name and read more about her because the characters are just very well written and they're very realistic. I would definitely give this book 5 and 5 stars. I could give it more stars than a higher rating if I could. It's just a must read for everybody out there. been one of my favorite Japanese authors of all time. I read a bunch of his previous works and Malice, like all of them, left me stunned. The plot of this book revolves around a popular novelist Hidaka whose dead body is found in his house by his wife Rai and his author friend Osama Noriguchi. So Detective Kaga is put on to solve the case and he discovers many alibis and clues and eventually uncovers really unsettling information about the friendship shared between the two authors which leads us to discover more about the case and who murdered him and why was it done and stuff like that. The best part and the perk about this book is that you always think that you know who the murderer is, that you've solved it out, that you've worked it out, but at the last minute, Higashino just changes the whole scene and that I think is a speciality in a lot of his books. Like you have to keep reading till the last page to actually know what happened. is a devastatingly beautiful book like if it's a gloomy day outside you're having a bad day at work you just want to cry and vent it all out and take it all out I would highly suggest that you start reading this book because almost everybody that I spoke to who has read the song of Achilles cried at its ending the plot follows the story of the hero Achilles and his partner Petroclus and a lot of the book is inspired from and elements are taken from the Homer's Iliad but the best part about this book is that you don't need to know the ABCs even of Greek mythology because a lot of the book is in fact based on Greek mythology like I don't know anything about the Trojan War or Greek mythology or anything like that but I was still able to easily understand this book because the book just is really friendly and it grabs you in from the second you start reading it and the best part about this book is that the relationship portrayed between the two characters is just very genuine, it's genius and it's well done which is what makes you cry in the end. Is 
Kafka on the Shore follows the plot of a 15 year old boy who runs away from home because he wants to find his sister and mother and he doesn't really like his father. Parallelly we have the story of an aged man, Nakata, who has the ability to talk to cats and he's sort of like a tracker of cats and as their story unfolds, really bizarre things start happening like fish starts falling from the sky, there are girl ghosts, there are cats who can talk to people and stuff like that. And through these interesting measures, the author draws a very deep connection between the two different kinds of lives that we normal human beings lead on a daily basis without even realizing it. This book has a lot of references to Greek mythology and a lot of Beethoven's music which are all classic works of art and I personally love reading such things and all this makes the book really rich and deep because it's also so interwoven with magical realism. told me by Laura Dave was gifted to me by my parents for my birthday and I must say it was quite a thoughtful and nice gift and definitely worth reading. It's a quick and easy read with very short chapters and very simple use of language so you feel like you're reading much faster even though you're actually reading at your normal pace. This book is a domestic thriller in which Owen Michaels before he disappears he leaves his wife Hannah with just one note which has just two words which say protect her and those two words are in reference to their daughter Bailey. The rest of the book is sort of Hannah trying to figure out what happened to Owen Michaels, why did he disappear, what connection is there to his present and future to his past and stuff like that and I would definitely say that I was a bit disappointed by the end but it's a fast-paced book with a great dynamic in family life so definitely pick it up. So these were my recommendations for this video guys hopefully you guys like them and have at least picked out one book for your next summer read. I'll see you guys in my next video till then please subscribe to my channel and take care. Bye! I've read a lot of his snapchat. Oh, I thought I put it on silent. I didn't. Maybe I should finally try.